Okay, so today we're gonna be doing Kaido versus Odin in a fight that actually happened in One Piece. But Odin was said in One Piece that he defeated Kaido seven times and he did lose to him. Well, that one time because it was an unfair, but so let's see is Kaido like better than Odin here or can Odin really beat Kaido? So let's start off with Odin and like, get all the details on the abilities. So our first move is Paradise Slicer with critical 1.4 million. So now Paradise Waterfall. Which, alright, let's see, over like 450 I would say. Times about how much again? Let's see this. Times about 14. Okay, let me look this up and then let's see how much damage we can do with this guy. So, wow, that's actually a lot more than I thought. So if you can hit all criticals, you can do a lot more than I thought you can do. Around like 6 million or more. Depends on how good you guys are in the game. This is only my damage and I'm pretty garbage now compared to most. Now Paradise Vortex. Which this move is completely crazy. Though I did not get the full damage on this move, so let's see it again. Very good. And the AoE is very gigantic. So now Nitoru, of course it's like any other move. Basically has very gigantic AoE though. So that is Odin, okay? And then after you can get these like crazy slashes so your M1s get even bigger range and you can hit some pretty high criticals on it. Now on to our next character, Kaido. This beast, let's see what he's got against Odin. So Kaido does around like 1.8 to 2 million damage for me at the start with, I would say, greater AoE. Like, look at that AoE. It's a lot greater than what Odin has. So, yeah, I would have to give this first move to Kaido. But Dragon Meteor is crazy. So Dragon Meteor has a really big move. We're comparing it to Odin's. That's actually not bad. But then when we look at Odin's ability, Paradise Waterfall, it's two hits. And like I said earlier, this move can go crazy doing over tons of damage. So I believe I have to give Odin the second ability. And then when we have the third move for Kaido, which is Screech. It's basically a buff, but I, it's only a combo of seven. And it gives him a little speed as well. You guys see that? He isn't bad on the buff, but compared to Odin's third move though, I might have to give... Uh, the third point um to odin only because like guys that is very good com when it comes to bosses and also a ton of mobs in the game now nitoru i did it earlier for odin it's just a ton of slashes now when we look at kaido's breath though he does have uh, we could get out of the animation and we go invincible but also damage things as we do it as the breath is going so you guys can deal tons of damage from kaido but odin's damage is insane when it comes to it because this ability is insane, and you can move around with it as well. So now, I'm pretty sure there's some of you guys who just recently bought Robux and wanted to buy one of these characters. Now, who I recommend? Out of these, though, their cooldowns, Odin would probably have more, but they're kind of equal on the cooldowns and stuff. But in my opinion, I believe you should buy Odin, and Odin is better due to his, you know, quick attacks and also... Pretty decent AoE, but also tons of damage that he has. And it's just mostly better off for most modes in the game. Kaido, I believe I would have to give him a slight edge on damage. Only because Odin does have advantage when it comes to, like, AoE. But Kaido does have a slight advantage on damage. But Odin, don't fool around with Odin. Damage isn't almost everything, because Odin does have some great abilities to win to his AoE. So if you're going to buy any of these characters, I recommend you buy odin himself so yeah 2400 robux going down the drain for those of you who are going to buy him after this video well i really hope this helped y'all out and uh please do not forget to like and subscribe this might be my last video before i start going to being really busy again without further ado i'll see you guys next time peace out